what's going on guys welcome back to the channel welcome back to some more the witcher the witcher toys are corn to the witcher i don't know the song again okay? don't hate anyways um so we got to meet the new and improved yennefer and i have to say i approve at a hundred percent i'm still trying to holler at you you know what i'm saying like yay <laughs> but anyways man um things are going well getting these little missions that um that Geralt is going on um but i think the more intriguing story is going on on Yennefer's side of things you know i think um what's happening to Siri right now i'm trying to figure out what's going on with her she's getting called by voices it seems like she's hypnotized somehow um the elf that she was with um, he got arrowed down, you know what I'm saying? They shot him with a couple of arrows. So he's down and she's just walking into the woods, listening to these voices or whatever. So I don't want to speculate anything because I don't know where this story is going. <laughs> a lot of the stuff is really mystical. I think the only thing that's, that's really making sense right now is Yennefer's side of things um but also with Geralt too we know what Geralt is he's the witcher he takes on these missions and he got this middle ground of morality that you know that I'm really admiring right now of him just doing these things out of the not for the money per se because that's what witchers are known for they do these they kill these monsters for money get rid of spirits and all this other stuff so they're well versed in killing monsters so people hire them to to, to destroy these monsters with their silver swords or whatever so pretty cool stuff man pretty cool stuff so on Yennefer's side of things she was a hunchback you know what I'm saying? And she sacrificed basically her womb, a lot of you guys. Because I was asking what did he t take out of her. But, you know, I, I didn't exactly, not necessarily not paying attention. But um, it's just kind of weird that what he took out. I didn't, I would have never thought that it was the womb. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't think that was ever mentioned. I know there's, to magic, they talk about, you know, it's a give and take situation with when it comes on to what they're doing you know the magic the wizardry whatever so there's a give and take if you want something to happen there has to be a balance you get what i'm saying you got to give up something to get this magic thing to happen you get what i'm saying so you got to give up something either physical or ha have something of basically equal value or whatever the situation is you know what i'm saying um so i'm looking forward to learning more about this situation she had to give up a lot to become beautiful so i mean to give up your womb never be able to have kids um i do remember in the video game of this being mentioned very slightly it wasn't like a long conversation but in the witcher 3 i think at one point Geralt and Yennefer was having a conversation. I think she mentioned that she can't have kids or he mentioned it or something of the sort. I don't remember exactly, but you guys obviously who have played the video games might know what I'm talking about, the exact conversation that I'm talking about. But I do remember something of the sort of them mentioning that in the story um, there. So it might have been just an off conversation or whatever but we're going to be watching episode four today so let's jump into it and see what is going on in the witcher after this there's only four more episodes to go so go ahead man go watch that and i'll see you guys right back here for the review all right so witcher <laughs> Episode four was definitely really cool, really cool. Um, I love what Yennefer went through there, man. It was pretty cool that he kind of showcased her a little bit, protecting, um, trying to protect this queen or whatever. You know, she can't produce a male heir, so a male hair. <laughs> so, um. So she basically assassin was sent by the king to take her out. It wasn't necessarily confirmed, but I believe it because um, 
um, Yennefer said it. Um, could have been something totally different, but I'm going to go with that narrative uh, because Yennefer said it. So, um, it's, it's sad to see the baby go. The, the, the queen, she deserved to die. After Yennefer saved her life like three times of them skipping, you know, going through portals and stuff, saving her life, she actually had the nerve to turn around and call her a useless bitch. Like, for real. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, at that moment, I was glad that Yennefer left her there. <laughs> but as she came back, I guess she probably remembered, or she came back specifically for the baby, but she couldn't save the baby. So that was, you know... But she handled her business, though. That dude, I don't know what the hell that dude is. Whatever he is. You know, um, with his spider or whatever. Well, I don't think it's a spider. It's more like a, um, I don't know, a spider mantis. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what the hell kind of monster that is, but. Is definitely deadly. Took out all of the the um the soldiers that were, gu were guarding the wagon, and um, and you know, and then was after them. So that was pretty cool to see. Pretty cool action. Um, on the other side of things, we have Geralt. It was a flashback. I didn't even like my brain just didn't re recognize it until they showed that scene where they were where this dude decided to eat a part of um the queen's skin you know eat it and then they they found out where siri is so i don't know i don't know how it comes i didn't realize it was a flashback because the names were very familiar to me you get what i'm saying like the names were they were very familiar to me but i was like you know what i'm saying like i didn't pick up on it because it's been such a long time since we've seen from she died in like the first episode i think this is like the first time we've seen her since then so i completely forgot about her took her out of my mind you know what i'm saying um you know because it kind of took me out of it because um if they didn't show that scene there i wouldn't even have realized that it was a freaking flashback that we were watching the whole freaking episode pretty much so they were showing basically current events and a flashback, but we, we, they weren't showing current Geralt. They were showing old Geralt. Geralt. So it was, oh man, that, it's crazy that I didn't pick up on that. But it, but in any case, man, it was pretty cool that they showed how Siri was conceived. Um, you know what I'm saying? Um, they had one night together, man. And he was cursed and kind of understanding the law of surprise is pretty, pretty cool stuff that they're introducing into the series for you to understand and, and you know, understand the lore of the series itself and all these magical stuff and sayings and prophecies and all this other stuff that's going to tie into the series maybe um, later. So it's cool that they gave us the connection that's going to happen between Geralt and Ciri and how that connection started. That was pretty cool. I like that because other than that, we probably would have never known what's drawing these two together. But now we know the exact thing, why these two are bound to be um, together, train together. Basically, you get what I'm saying? Like everybody was like, oh. <laughs> I was laughing. I was laughing at the fact that in between there there was a small part that didn't make any sense and i was like in i i was like imagining what that was like in the writers room because um in that small space of time i just started laughing because i was like what just happened made no sense <laughs> it made no sense but then right after um right after they kind of explained it so you get what I'm saying? Like at first it just seemed like it was like it was like a plot that they were that they were gonna kinda push to the side. And that's why I started laugh that's why I started laughing because you saw my face, I was like, huh? <laughs> like they're really gonna do that? But then they explained it at the end of where they were trying to go to, so that was pretty cool. Um it happens sometimes when a group of people is 
writing something or coming up with with something like at first to the viewer like for me it was like that's what got into my head because i'm like yeah they wrote it that way um if it goes the way i was, thought it was going to go you know what i'm saying um i'm glad that they explained it i'm glad they explained it because it really was going to leave a huge plot hole because i was like are they really gonna do this right now after they've been doing such an awesome job um but they did not so props out to the writers there man i started laughing you guys are probably wondering why is he laughing <laughs> i was like but that's why i was laughing right there um but it was um pretty funny at the end what what happened there when he when he said the law of surprise and the whole thing um with destiny and stuff and then she threw up immediately and then you know what i'm saying like that's confirmation that she's pregnant so confirmation also that's that series mom so but i didn't realize none of this until the scene after so um you know so hey props out to them man they did an awesome job i'm looking forward to seeing more man there's four more episodes to go i'm gonna try to knock those out try to give you guys another episode before the weekend ends um also want you guys to know if you're watching this there will be a schedule um on the community tab also i'm going to do an update video um showing you guys what this is going to be like and also so if you want to check that update video it's not out yet but when it's up make sure you got notifications on also subscribe if you're new there's a lot of people watching the witcher on the channel right now if you're new subscribe to the channel you know watch something else on the channel whatever the situation is um like and also leave a comment in the comment section let me know what you thought of this episode man it was great um i like when when um when shows are going to do flashbacks i like when they tell me that because sometimes it's it's just like you know you're not going to really realize that it's a flashback unless they actually reference it which they did they did after the fact you get what i'm saying but you have some shows that do flashbacks they don't tell you it's a flashback you get what i'm saying you recognize like two three episodes down the line you're like that was a flashback <laughs> like you thought it was happening because they've been showing these small snippets of you know missions that Geralt is doing so i thought it was just another mission but it was actually um you know basically back in the day so cool beans you know what i'm saying they were even talking about Nilfgaard and all of that stuff and i was like i'm probably going to have to go back and watch that entire thing to kind of pick up on some things that they were talking about from back then uh because there may be some reference on to people that we you know in the current day you know what i mean so we'll see We'll see. We'll see. Anyways, thank you guys so much. I will catch you guys later. Terabyte out. Peace.